Shalom, Michael. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders, the GMS, metal tall on down. And greetings and salutations to you, Akim, pushing this truth and sincerity. Uh, this is Brother Yekor from um, Down South, GMS, Louisiana Saints. And um, my name is Clip. Give not to the wicked and pray not for the wicked. Because we live according to the scriptures, and that's what the scriptures command. So we're going to jump um, straight into this. We started uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. This is chapter 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And that's playing, man. Uh, lions hang with lions. Bears hang with bears. Tigers hang with tigers. Us men of the Lord, our comrade is supposed to be uh, other men of the Lord. And uh, Go do this with precept upon precept. Because, like, let me expound on this scripture a little bit more. Like, in this scripture, uh, that word righteousness in, in 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, that word there in the Greek is dikaios, and it means to observe divine laws. And what laws are those divine laws? The laws that the Most High gave Moses, my shot, to give the children of Israel when he fled out of Egypt in ancient times past. So, a worthy nigga don't know those 613 laws, you did? And just some simple as everyday conversation with these bitch ass, grind ass niggas. They gonna say some shit and make your stomach turn. I'm fucking this hoe in the ass. I'm I'm fucking old boy down the street from me, old lady. But I'm but I am around that nigga every day. You know, cut throat grind ass niggas, man. You see, we're not supposed to be yoked with niggas like that. We're not supposed to be yoked with niggas that don't know these commandments, man. This, this is a beautiful precept right here on uh, Sirach 37. Bear with me, I can. It gives you the game. This is Sirach chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Most High, whose mind is according to, their, to, to thy mind. And with sorrow thee if thou shalt miscarry. You see, that's beautiful. Iron sharpens iron. If, if, if your brother see you slipping, what's your brother going to do? He's going to pull you up. Hey, hey, I keep tripping, man. Come on, knock it off. Get back right. And vice versa. If you see your brother slipping, you're going to do the same thing, man. You did? You, I, we going to hang with people that feel the Lord just like us. And like what 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 say, uh, all, all I can supposed to be a one mind, man. And that's the, that's, the, that's the people you're supposed to be yoked with and hang with. Now, I understand, we, like, as it pertains to me, you got, you got high logical fam that you're going to naturally learn. You know, your mama wiped your ass. You grew up with your brother from day one. But uh, what, 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 when it came to your house, shot, we live according to scriptures. When they asked him about his mother and his brothers, in uh, Matthew chapter 12, he said, my mother and my brothers are the ones do the commandments of the most high. So his brothers and his mama was right there and heard him say that. So that was a cut to them, man. He was like, man, these my brothers, behold. He, he said, behold, these are my mother. These are my sisters. These are my brothers. Those that do the will of the most high, man. Now, the scriptures tell us how to handle every situation. So you, you don't just you don't just uh cast your family and your so-called friends off as dumb. You know, and the scriptures tell us to be, uh, in the book of Corinthians, tell us to be users of this world, not abusers of this world. I got a precept. I got a precept. Uh, bear with me, y'all, Sharada. Uh, scripture in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 27. With the pure, show thyself pure. But well, who's who's the pure gonna be? A leg man of the Lord, um, in the four winds of the earth, signing crying for the abomination going on around the bottom. The men that you see on these corners every weekend blowing the trumpet. That's gonna be the pure, the elect. Men striving to get in that number. That's gonna be the pure. All right, and th and that's what those ten commandments basically about. After you get past. Loving the Heavenly Father as you love thyself. Those first few commandments tell you how to love your, your creator, your power. And then the rest of those 
script of um, commandments that tend to tell you how to be a brother to your brother, how to not fuck your brother's wife, not to cover your brother, don't steal from your brother, love your brother, you love thyself. You see, that's the pure. So with the pure, with your acting, you be pure. You don't lie to your brother, man. You keep it real with your acting, man. And with the forward, thou will show thyself unsavory. Who the four are going to be? That's going to be the two-thirds. Out the gate. That's going to be the two-thirds. For the two-third ass niggas, man, that were unsavory, when I, when I looked at it in the Hebrew, it, it was, uh, don't quote me. I have a promise pronouncing it sometime, but it's pathal. Pathal. And it means to be crafty and deceitful. That's how we supposed to be with these, uh, these wicked ass two third niggas and bitches, man. Uh, what um, Matthew ten and sixteen says, uh, "Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove." Uh, the scripture right here in Second Samuel say, "Be unsavory with them. You know, be deceitful, man. Be a serpent with them, man. You did. No. And we did, we're not supposed to give nothing to these niggas, man. You did. We don't we don't help them in no form and fashion." We help them, we help we help the men of the Lord, man. Because if you do, if you do help them, them niggas don't be thankful. They'll turn around and bite the fuck out you. They'll turn around and bite the fuck out you and cut throat you for the good that you that you've given them. They will turn you evil for your good, man. These old these grimy ass niggas, man. Oh, bad with me, Ox. All right, this is another precept to show you why we don't we don't help the motherfuckers. Um, uh, Romans fifteen and four say everything that was done before time was done for our learning. So Yahweh Shah told us how to handle the wicked. We got some precepts from some other prophets that told us how to deal with the niggas. This is the book of Sirach, chapter twenty nine, verse seventeen. And he that is of an unthankful mind will leave him in danger that deliver him. That's these grime ass niggas, man. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a morsel of bread to the motherfuckers. You don't give them water, man. And that's what's so beautiful about these scriptures, man. Everything in life they teach us how to handle every situation, man. This is our God book. This is the man of Lord God book. This is another, uh, some more beautiful scripture. This is uh, Sirach chapter 12. When thou wilt to do good, know whom thou do it. So thou shalt be thanked for thy benefits. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, from the most high. Then can no good, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. And see, if you don't even know the commandments of the Lord, man, them niggas don't even, they be doing wicked naturally. Just naturally doing wicked, don't even know it. But they don't know the commandments. Nor to him that give him no arms. These niggas don't thank the most high for the water they drink. These niggas living better, living better than the men of the Lord, man. They, they, they don't thank the most high for the water that they drink. They don't thank the most high for the clothes on their back, man. They don't, they don't, they don't, they are not thankful, man. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Us men of the Lord, we don't help them bitches, man. Do well unto him that is lowly. Who is him? Who is the lowly? The elect. What, what in Revelation on um, 3 and 9 say? I know your I know your poverty. I know I know what you're going through, your poverty. We're the Lord, we're the poor, man. But give to but, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread, and give not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thy body. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for the good thou shalt have done unto him. For the most high hate of sinners, and will pray vengeance unto the ungodly, and keep them against the mighty day of their punish. Given to the good. Who is the good? The leg men of the most high. The men you see on these corners prophesizing day in and day out. And prophesizing the truth. Basically, highly, basically the men of GMS, man. And help not the sinner. And that's plain, man. And our great our great king, Yahweh Shai, you know, he gave us the game too. Uh, let me go to Matthew chapter 17. You know? We not even when we see them falling and shit, we don't even supposed to have mercy on them, man. Don't even pray for them niggas, man. This is Matthew chapter 17, verse 9. And they came. Whoa. Whoa, scripture. Salak, y'all. 
That's John 17. John 17 and 9. So lock it, I can. And y'all wish I said don't pray for the wicked, man, in the world. This is John 17 and 9. This is, this is our great King Yahweh shall talk. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for, with them, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. So we, everything done afore time was done for our land. The most high didn't pray for the wicked. We shouldn't pray for the wicked. All right, let me give you another precept. Um, the most high got on Ezra's. Told Ezra, you don't love my creation more than me. Don't ask me that shit no more. Don't ask me how to help these wicked ass niggas. Second Ezra chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 47 and go down. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 47. But this is the most high um, getting on Ezra. For thou comest far short that thou should be able to love my creation more than I. You see what I'm saying? He said, you can't love my creation more than me. Then let's go down to um, 55. And, he's, and then he told Ezra, and ask, and therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Don't, act, don't pray for these wicked niggas. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High. And how did they despise the Most High? When we out here pushing this truth, out here blowing a trumpet every weekend and week out, these niggas scoff at us, laugh at us. Like niggas in my family, niggas I grow up with, they call me muzzle. You know, they call me uh, Mr. G Hyde and shit. Fuck these niggas, man. That that's how that's how they they uh, reject the Most High, man. For when they had liberty, they despised the Most High. When they despise, when you despise the Most High as prophets, men of the Lord, Lord willing, we are the elect. You despise the most. You despise the Most High. We His mouthpiece. Thought Salaki. And therefore, ask no more questions concerning the multitude of them, them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High. They despised the Most High. Thought scorn of his law and forsake his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no power. Yeah, that knowing they must die. For as these things aforesaid shall receive you. So, so thirst and pain are prepared, prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should be come to know, but that which he created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful to him which prepared life for them. And therefore, this is my judgment now in hand. These things I have not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. You did? So the, he, the most high was keeping it real, Ezra, man. Don't pray for these niggas. You know, pray for y'all. Pray for the elect. And uh, I'm going to close out with this scripture. Uh, our brother Jeremiah, you know, he was, he was, uh, he said the same thing. He said the same thing. This is uh, Jeremiah 11 and 14. Oh, this is the most high talking to Jeremiah. Commanding him, telling him the same shit. Don't pray for these wicked ass niggas. Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me for their trouble. So us as men of the Lord, man, we don't pray for these wicked niggas. We're not supposed to hang with these wicked niggas. And we're supposed to use these wicked niggas. You dig? Don't abuse your using, you know, just as you need. You know, we don't be greedy, but we, 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 we do business with them, with capital. We slaves, you dig? But you hang with your comrades, man. You hang with your Aki, man. And with that, um, we start off again off me in this with all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elders, and Kwam Yasharala.